Nicole, welcome to the channel. I did a poll and I feel like y'all asked for this, so today I'm gonna be doing some more <laughs> nail polish organization. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Uh, we're getting real close to the finish line at this point. In case you missed any past updates, I have several thousand bottles of nail polish. I have, uh, seven. 18 Ikea Helmers in which the nail polish is stored and it's taking me an incredibly long time to get all of it organized. Hold on, Sassy's got things to say. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I should have gotten my drive bot. Hi, baby. Okay, so since... Ah! <laughs> Sassy, I love you too. You slept all of this time. You act like I wasn't here, but I was here. You were sleeping. I love you, but lay off. Okay. Camera, come back. I am black. I am not a shadow. There we go. Since the last update, I have gotten almost all of it done. I'm currently, all of the mainstreams are done, although I technically want to redo OPI. Sassy, I need you to lay off. Please. Sorry. <laughs> so, I've gotten all of the mainstreams done. I have gotten almost all of my indies done. I'm currently on the letter S, I think. Yeah, I think I'm currently at the letter S for indies. I do... Sassy. Basically, what I was doing for this past, since the last update, was I was getting things cataloged, but I wasn't necessarily reorganizing them. I was just getting them cataloged that way when I go to reorganize them, like, I don't have to do all of that. I don't know if that actually is going to make it go faster or slower. I really don't know, but it, 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 it made sense at the time, so that... Sassy. Sorry. <laughs> I really should have got... Wait, can I put the camera right here? Oh, oh. Ah! Sassy. Okay, we'll slouch. <laughs> this is doable for right now. So I was getting everything cataloged, but I wasn't like organizing it. I'm almost done. Like I'm on the final like one and a half ish Helmers and then like we are in the clear. But the current issue which I'm tackling today is when I was setting all of my Indian boutique brands in the Helmers towards the window. For whatever reason, I decided to take the Heather's Hughes polishes out of the Helmer that they have lived in for several years now and put them in a black Helmer. Uh, let me just go show you, hold on. Let's... Over here, so Heather's Hughes used to be over there. Now that's what's in these Helmers. G Brands, HIJ, uh, Hollow Talk was over there. And then what's here? Okay, that's empty. And then it looks like KB Shimmer is here. But my Heather's Hue starts in here, and I have come to the conclusion that it irritates me a lot that we have G, H, I, J, H, K, L, M, N, then H. <laughs> and then over here, more Heather's Hues, and then Mooncat starts over here. I have come to the conclusion that it bothers me a lot that it's no, this section isn't really in alphabetical order. On top of that, up here, this is largely alphabetical through here, bees knee. Ignore these labels. I also have to change the labels because I move drawers around and now the labels no longer go with what the polishes are. But, um, so bees knees is all through in here and then C brand, cert colors, and then through here, again, the labels are all wrong. One issue I'm having is this, this drawer here has C and D brands and then we have F, and I there's no space at all to add anything into this drawer. And I recently got some different dimensions that I need to put somewhere, but I can't put them in the drawer that has C through D. So I need to make some more space through here. These are some F brands in here. So I need, once again, to move these around to make space for things that I did not factor in good making space for. So I figured you all can join me on that today. It's currently 12.44 p.m. I wasn't originally supposed to be home today. I was supposed to be helping Wayne with something, but uh, plans changed. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Although right now I'm currently on my little lunch break. I, I just made some cookies. So I want, they're currently chilling in the fridge. I wanna go put those in the oven so I can have like two cookies as my little lunch because all of all of my food currently is frozen and I didn't want to I didn't really want to cook honestly not a great lunch but it's lunch we're having today and then I'm just gonna cook like an actual meal for dinner because I don't feel like cooking right now yeah unfortunately when you have to be a grown-up no one's gonna cook for you anymore you gotta cook for yourself <laughs> so yeah yesterday before the live stream I finally cleaned up my makeup area like it's finally clean I'm very, very happy that, like, I didn't even wash my brushes. I'm very proud of that, by the way. Here's today's inappropriate t-shirt. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Here's the dough. Um, I don't really feel like getting out a cookie scoop, so I'm just gonna eyeball this. This is a really small batch of cookies. Three. Probably should have used a smaller cookie sheet, but this one was in the drain basket, so that's what I grabbed. Also, I, my face is come cut, getting cut out. Alrighty, anywho, here are our cookies. I think this is like eight minutes, I think I do these for. Be back in eight minutes. And cookies are now out of the oven. It's a good cookie. Also, I wanted to show the current egg stash. Like these are just all the eggs that we have. <laughs> <laughs> and it's oh also got a bowl back there for people who don't know we we have chickens and that's why we have so many eggs gonna have to give these away because we obviously as a two-person household cannot eat this many eggs before we get into the organization i just wanted to talk a little bit about this new book that i started recently i just wanted to pop in if you have little ones within earshot i would highly recommend jumping to the timestamp that's currently written on the screen i'm gonna be talking about my new book <laughs> If you know anything about my books, it is not for children. So there is a timestamp here. It's not too bad, honestly. But yeah, it's not for kids either. It's called Lights Out by Navessa Allen. I'm sure a good chunk of you all know I am very much a romance book kind of gal. I have a soft spot for dark romance and monster romance in particular. I came across this book on uh, TikTok. I was just, you know, scrolling as one does. And the author had a, a post. They basically described this as a dark rom-com and good for people who want to get into dark romance but don't want it to be too dark. I was rather intrigued by that. I'm currently 26% into this and I freaking love this. I love it. So if you're curious what this is about, you have a nurse who is like, she works in a hospital where like, it's like one of those major trauma hospitals in like a major city. So she sees a lot of violence. Again, I'm not super far into the book, but thus far, all of the darkness is really largely her talking about what goes on at work. So she, <laughs> like some of us, really enjoys the weird thirst traps that are on social media. She in particular is like obsessed with this guy who is like big, like muscular big, covered in tattoos. Yeah. And his whole shtick is he wears this custom mask. She has like a big old thing for dudes wearing masks. <laughs> she leaves the comments that, you know, you see the horny single lady, I guess they're not all single. You see the horny ladies leaving on profiles such as those. Like, not gonna blame the gal. I won't blame her because I, I also find those kind of interesting. You kink shame me. But unbeknownst to her, he knows who she is. That she used to date his um roommate. I say date, but really they were just, you know, shebanging and that was that. Basically what ends up happening is he decides that he's going to stalk her. What? And find out if the comments she leaves on his profile about you know wishing to come home to find that masked man in her home waiting for her if you know if it's all talk or if that's you know <laughs> the life she leads what hi edging nicole um i just need to say if you enjoy these kinds of books please comment on this video because I feel like the people who don't read these kind of books or don't know these kinds of books exist are judging me really, really hardly. And I need people to validate that this is like a good, enjoyable type of book and that I'm not just mentally unwell. Well, I mean, we know I'm mentally unwell, but not because of what I read. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> so he, he's a little bit of, you know, some, some stalker tendencies. He breaks into her house and all that. I'm really enjoying it. Thus far, 26% in, we've had like one scene actually where the two people together are doing, you know, <laughs> um, but not like all the way the thing. I think that's like third base maybe, but like, I'm not gonna call this like a smut book, but it does seem to have, like there's definitely story. It's not just, you know, <laughs> straight filth to read there is there is in fact a story they both have some very not vanilla kinks i guess there's not really a kink that is vanilla i guess by definition kinks cannot be vanilla but yeah they got quite a few kinks between the two of them and i'm just really enjoying this book quite a bit so i just wanted to share it because i've been really enjoying it so yeah very enjoyable um i'll have it linked in the description box in case anyone else wants to grab it okay i'm gonna zoom back out and get to the drawers 
Oh god, I re this is one of those moments where I really wish that like you the audience could give me in real time tips on what to do versus me being here trying to figure shit out on my own. Also, if you're new to the nail room, these two bins right here are all things for the D stash. Yeah, you can see them. That's all for the D stash. So this first one, this one is all of my Fair Maiden polishes. This is E and F brands. So here is a current dilemma. I was just kind of here going through all of the Helmers and trying to see how many empty drawers I actually have. Just based on how many Helmers I have, like I definitely have space for everything. I just need to figure out where to do things. Because I have so many different color Helmers, I'm trying to decide, will it bother me to see different color drawers in different color Helmers? Will it bother me? I currently have like, I'll put a picture here because I'm not moving the camera again. Hi Stormy. Um, for my blue and my gray Helmers, I currently have those alternating in color for those drawers and it doesn't bother me at all. So I think I am just going to have mismatched drawers in places and see if it makes me feel twitchy. I'm such a pack rat. These are PR boxes from the Salon Perfect and China Glaze Willy Wonka collections. I don't want to throw them out. I like these boxes so much. I can't get rid of them. Should I move you guys? Like I can't even tell how much you guys can see from over there. Hold on. Let me move you guys again. I feel like you guys are missing stuff. Okay. Here is where the start of the C's. B's knees is all of this here and a couple over there. More Cleona and color spectrums. The C more the ends of C's in the beginning. And then there are D's and a little bit of E's over here. Okay, so we're gonna have D and E's in this black drawer. So some of my empty drawers, I have just been stuffing with bubble wrap. I've got two big containers on top of the armoire across the room filled with bubble wrap. And I, I need to de-stash because I'm really tired of having to save all this damn bubble wrap. These are H, I's, and J's. Um, bum. What did I just do with, where did I put those? Oh, I'm getting hot. I should not have put this thing on my head today. For the Indian boutique brands, when we get to the GHI, um, G's are fine in their drawer. It's the H's and the I's. I am currently planning on de-stashing quite a few of, not quite a few, some of my H brands. And I don't have a lot of J's. I'm giving ILNP its own drawer. I can just hear Linry. I can hear her voice. And she's like, Nicole, it's not in alphabetical order then. Only because, listen, I'm not gonna give random, well, I'm calling it rings. I don't have a lot of them. The I and the J brands. I'm just not gonna give them their own drawer just because I don't buy enough brands that are I's and J's. And looking at my collection for what I have for I's and J's, it's just not a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna give ILMP their own drawer. I didn't realize that my Fair Maidens, I had more than just <laughs> what's in the Fair Maiden drawer. Apparently, they're also offloaded in the other F brand's drawer. I didn't, I, I completely forgot about that. So we have F, F, then G, then, then H, I, J's, then I, L, N, P comes in. No, no, I'm skipping. <laughs> I don't want to hear anyone judging me, okay? I'm trying my best here. <sighs> this is not that difficult. Why am I struggling? Okay, after the one drawer that I'm putting the off the off of those, we're going to put in Heather's Hughes, because that comes, H-E comes before H-O. So Heather's Hughes and then Hollow Taco. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, the irony truly is not lost on me that I did all this stuff to move Heather to the Black Helmer and now it's going back into the exact same spot Heather Hughes has been in for the past like two years. Almost all of my Heather Hughes drawers kind of look like this where there's not that much space for new releases, but I'm gonna wait and see what comes out and then we'll revisit. Ugh. And I just realized you guys are getting a lot of my butt being in the camera and Sorry. Here are my KB Shimmers. Well, one of my KB Shimmer drawers. More KB Shimmers. More KB Shimmers. L Brands. Also, since the last collection update, I I own everything from Hollow Taco now. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot there were Heather's Hughes over here. 
It's kind of comical that I forgot that drawer was over there because all of the Heather's Hughes that are in that drawer are polishes that I forgot to put in rainbow order so they all just got stuffed in that drawer because I didn't want to redo things. Ooh, I love how the checker, can you guys see that? I love how the black to white looks. And again, I don't have that many ILMPs. This is all I have from them thus far. Okay, I, we did J, so K, KB Shimmer. Now we're up to L. So I'm just gonna, I've got two empty drawers for L. I just realized inside of the Helmers, they're like dusty from when they did construction. And I didn't realize inside of these were dusty until this very moment, but out of sight, out of mind, cause I really, <laughs> today is not the day to be dusting. It is just not the day to be dusting. This one, we have some K brands. Most of this is Linby Designs. But we have Lollipop Posse Lacquer, some Live Love Pop. Oh, this, is this really? Oh man, I like this one. So it used to be the pink here on the cap, and now it's like this reddish color. I don't know why, but it seems like all polishes that have those metallic-y kind of things in them, they just tarnish over time. Okay, and then Moon Cat is here. Empty for growth. So this one is Music City Beauties and Moonshine Nanny is down here. Oh, and then here is the, <laughs> the duplicates drawer. A lot of this is going to be getting de-stashed. So here's my point of view. Here's what the Helmers look like down here. I don't think I hate the mix match of the drawers. I think what's a bigger annoyance is you can see the shade of white between some of them is a different color of white. I have to assume that these are like my original ones and these ones I got later on. Cause like they are different shades of white. Oh, the sticker's coming off. So yeah, here are the little labels that I have on all, all most of the Helmer drawers. I'm gonna make new labels and move labels to get things around. Cause you can see like, <laughs> they're just all over the place and I have to scratch off these Heather's Hughes ones. Here is my label maker. It's a Dymo uh, Label Manager 160. And the tape I use is half inch. I originally got this label maker when I used to do swatch sticks. The half inch is perfect for if you have like swatch sticks that need labeling. So I'll show you all how I do my labels. I bought these like magnetic sheets. So typed it all in on my little keypad thing. I don't know how much of that's showing up. I typed it in there and then I just hit print. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So one thing that I have learned when doing these is originally I didn't take off the little paper side to these labels. I realized over the years and starting to do this, you do still want to remove the tape backing, mostly because eventually the stickum, whatever the st the glue, yeah, I guess glue is a better word than stickum, <laughs> will eventually peel. And if you still have the paper backing, the paper will peel like off eventually. You'll basically have like a piece of sticker with no label. So just take the, the paper off of your sticker and save yourself the trouble. So I just stick it onto this and then I'll just cut it out. And also in case anyone's curious, I have bought both the Dymo brand as well as like the random off brands for these label makers and I have not seen a difference. <laughs> So don't think you have to buy the Dymo brand in order for this to work. All of the pink ones that you see, the, that you saw the pink ones that I have, those are not the Dymo brand. Those are just like some random off brand one that I found on Amazon. And again, I'll have everything linked as per usual. Alrighty, so it is now 3.53. I was outside with the locksmith and that's finally done and over with. The mail has come and I wanted to share you all some more questionable purchases. I'm in the Twilight uh, ship posting group over on Facebook and I came across someone who has some Twilight stickers that I didn't know about. So we have this one. We have this. <laughs> And then we have this one. And then while I was on the website, I also grabbed this shirt because it was like on discount. The shirt 
It feels really soft. It's a little bit thinner than I was expecting. Like on one side, yeah, actually, yeah, I can see my hand through it when I go this way like this. So yeah, it's a little bit thinner than I was expecting, um, but yeah, not terrible. And this company is called The Funnel Cake Tree. So I got the labels onto the corresponding Helmers, and I made the new labels. There's Hollow Tacos and all of that. I'll, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so the labels are on, and here's how it looks with the different colored <laughs> drawers on the Helmers. All right, hi, new day. <laughs> Another inappropriate shirt. I just finished washing. Hi, Sassy. Jeez Louise. I just finished washing my hair, hence the towel. So I wanted to finish up on doing this today. Uh, usually I post, today's Tuesday. I usually post my videos on Tuesday. Current game plan is po I'm posting it tomorrow. Uh, because what I want to do is actually move some of these, the stuff in this Helmer here, and move it down towards the red Helmer, which is not in frame, but it's down here. Because one issue that I noticed yesterday is almost all of these Helmers here are full. So these are O through S's in this Helmer here. And then all the Helmers on the sec on the bottom level, those are all the ones for my mainstream brands that aren't China Glaze. The next batch of organizing, I'm gonna have to, Sweet and Sour Lacquer definitely needs work on. I think I'm gonna continue since I'm doing this now anyway. I'm gonna get these organized because all of these are already done. And I think this is the last Helmer left that needs doing. So yeah, I'll just do that now. So there were two drawers in this red Helmer filled with top coats and base coats. One of the drawers is top coats and base coats that I use like on a regular basis and everything else is just stuff left over from years past. Ones that I didn't think I'd be able to de-stash, I just kind of emptied out on a paper towel. I'm going to clean the bottles out to use later. I don't know why this one came out fuzzy, but here I'm just cataloging the last of my Night Owl lacquers. I think the cataloging process of doing this whole reorganization thing is what made it take the longest, honestly. I had two drawers that were completely full of Night Owl lacquer polishes and then one drawer was like 90% full. So here I'm just putting it all in rainbow order. There is just something about having polishes lined up in rainbow order that makes my heart so incredibly happy. So here's what we're looking at for the rest, the remainder of my S brand. So largely Sweet and Sour Lacquer and Swamp Gloss. And that's Sweet and Sour Lacquer too. And then just random brands that I don't have a ton from. And then Twisting Other Lacquers over there. And there's my dog. I was trying really hard to finish up that last batch while I still had some daylight and then I remembered that I forgot to do some stuff out in the yard. So here I'm just cleaning out the waterers for the chickens as well as Sassy's water outside. It was so incredibly nice out yesterday. It was 73 degrees here. I honestly wanted to enjoy some of the day outside which is what we're going to be seeing coming up next. It was just way too nice out to spend the rest of the day inside. As far as the organization goes, it is done. We are done. I finished cataloging everything and the next update is going to be be the room tour. I am just so incredibly happy to be done organizing this nail polish. You ready to go, Sassy? You ready? You ready? Hey! <laughs> that! <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. Okay. Let me... Sassy, I can't... And she's gone. <laughs> Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I'm gonna be out here with Sassy. Ah! <laughs> gonna be playing with Sassy for a little bit. It's really, really warm out in case you couldn't tell from the short sleeves. Today's high was like 72 or 73, I think. All right, so thank you all for joining me for today's video. Hope you had fun. Dang, mosquito got me yesterday and my ankle's itchy. Shout out to Shenanigang. So there will be a members only live stream happening this Friday. By the time this video goes up, there will be a post to the community tab for channel members. This Sunday, I'll have a Bees Knees Lacquer live stream happening for comparisons. If you haven't watched the video yet, uh, please do and drop your comparison requests. Uh, so thanks everyone for joining me. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, fast. <laughs> okay, let me have the ball. Look at the, look at this little cool. And she's gone.
Say bye to everybody, Sass. When I get high. I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm falling like yeah.